Ever since helicopters entered service, in large numbers with different militaries, in the 1940s, 50s period, helicopters have been an indispensable tool of war and peace, whether it's casualty evacuation troop, transport disaster relief or airborne fire support, helicopters are at the center of it all the technology used in helicopters has grown to such a level that it's now possible to make hybrid helicopter airplanes, advanced attack helicopters and super heavy transport. So if you're interested in large-scale helicopters that can transport a variety of equipment and military forces, The King Stallion is an upgraded version of the CH-53 Super Stallion, which was once the world's largest and most powerful helicopter. The Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion is the military's largest and heaviest helicopter today, and it was initially designed to satisfy the needs of the United States Marine Corps. It can accommodate 37 troops and has a payload capacity of just under 16 tons, and externally, it can carry almost 36,000 pounds. The King Stallion was designed to transport equipment, supplies, and troops from ships to the shoreline, but it can also accommodate large weapons, a variety of vehicle models, a LAV-25 armored vehicle, and up to 55 soldiers if centerline seats are installed. Some are also used by the Navy to resupply shipboards, Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey, the U.S. Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps all use this large aircraft, which mixes the height of a fixed-wing turboprop plane with the vertical lift capability of a conventional helicopter. In this way, it's more like a tilt rotor than a helicopter, though it serves much of the same functions. Internally the Osprey can hold 24 soldiers and more than 19,800 pounds, and externally, it can carry almost 15,000 pounds. This aircraft can fly at double the speed of most utility helicopters. The Osprey's ability to refuel in the air, as well as land on aircraft, rocky terrain, and other objects, is one of its most interesting features. The EC-725, also known as the Super Cougar, was created to improve French search and rescue missions. It flew for the first time in 2000 and was handed over to the French Air Force in 2005. The EC-725 has an internal payload of 12,500 pounds and an external payload of over 9,900 pounds. It may also be used to carry freight and soldiers as well as rescue casualties. The EC-725 can be equipped with armor plating to be used in battle if necessary. It is a long-range tactical utility helicopter with a carrying capacity of 28 soldiers. It was developed by Eurocopter, which is now known as Airbus Helicopters, and is used by countries such as Mexico, Brazil, Indonesia, and Malaysia, among others. The Augusta Westland AW101 is a joint project between Italian and British firms that comes in a variety of variants, including anti-submarine warfare and utility versions. It's also been sold to countries like Canada, Portugal, and Saudi Arabia, where it's known as the Merlin in some cases. This helicopter has a payload capability of up to 11,000 pounds and can carry 26 troops. This helicopter's cargo can be transported externally or internally, and there is a UK variant that can carry up to 45 troops and a weight of more than 13,200 pounds. It is a new naval utility helicopter that was planned and built. The Eurocopter Industries EH-101 was the former name for the AW-101. There were two models of the NH-90 at first. The NH-90 NFH, NATO Frigate Helicopter, and the NH-90 TTH, Tactical Transport Helicopter. 
They were used for carrying equipment, electronic warfare, rescue, and VIP transport, as well as anti-ship and anti-submarine warfare. One of these models can hold 20 troops and a weight up to 11,000 pounds of cargo internally as well as more than 9,000 pounds externally. The NH-90 has been around since the mid-1980s and is now being exported to countries like New Zealand, Belgium, Sweden, Australia, and Norway among others. The MIL MI-26 helicopter is the world's biggest manufacturing helicopter. It's known as the Halo in the West, and it's reportedly in operation in 20 countries, including India and Russia. Its design process began in the 1970s, and it first flew in 1983, capable of carrying loads as large as the Lockheed Martin C-130J. Its interior will hold 80 soldiers with gears or 60 stretchers, depending on how it is designed. The most recent version of this massive helicopter is capable of transporting 150 soldiers and has a payload capability of over 55,000 pounds. With the ability to accommodate additional loads, the MIL MI-26 helicopter can also transport two military vehicles weighing over 22,000 pounds each. It has a loading room that is almost 40 feet long and 11 feet high, making it a large aircraft. The CH-47F Chinook made its first flight in 1961 and was fully operational the following year. There have been nearly 1,200 of these helicopters built, and they have been exported to countries all over the world. The upgraded Chinook helicopters, which are mostly used by the U.S. Army, are expected to remain in use until 2060, according to their manufacturers. The CH-47F Chinook is capable of transporting soldiers, supplies, and various forms of battlefield equipment. It's also been used for parachute drops, emergency evacuations, aircraft recovery, and a variety of other search and rescue operations. As you can see, it's not just a big plane, but it's also a really useful one. The MI-38 helicopter can transport up to 32 troops and is used for both civil and military customers. In terms of payload size, the MI-38 has an internal payload of more than 11,000 pounds and can carry an external payload of more than 15,000 pounds. It was intended to be a replacement for both the MI-8 and the MI-17 but it included so many changes that it was eventually replaced by a brand new helicopter. New engines and avionics, as well as a new rotor assembly and airframe, have been added to the Mi-38. These helicopters were first used by the Russian military in 2018, and the company now has plans for even more upgraded versions. And here is the bonus one. The Sikorsky S-64 Skycrane was created as a larger version of the Sikorsky S-60, a prototype flying crane helicopter. The S-64 had a six-blade main rotor and was powered by two Pratt and Whitney turboshaft engines that produced 4,050 shaft horsepower. To help in the suppression of bush fires, the air crane can be equipped with a fixed retardant tank of 2,650 US gallons. In 45 seconds, the helicopter's water tank can be fully refilled. The Italian and Korean Forest Services have purchased S-64 air cranes for firefighting and emergency response. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.